So we try to combine this side with this machine to create more meadows. Um, so that's the idea. And it's uh, also very one thing that is really important with this is that it's remote control. So you are not uh, usually when you have uh, a machine like this, you hold it in your hands and and it it vibrates uh, really much. So so you can only go for uh, for an hour or so. Uh, so it's really not very ergonomic. We have uh, an old machine like that, and it's. Uh, really so this is an improvement also from an ergonomic perspective there is the battery goes in the back here it can be unplugged and taken out and charged yeah. out of the machine i guess you could have two separate batteries if you were to yeah one to two if you were doing really big areas and but i've heard it has about eight hours of battery time so oh, you can go yeah. more or less a full day yeah with it then you have a key and you charge it Yes, yeah. we just open this and plug it into the charger. Key and two safety switches, one on the remote and one on the machine. Awake. <laughs> to connect to the machine you have the leftmost, uh, what do you call this, switch that you hold down until you get the confirmation sound. And now you're in kind of driving mode. All right, you have to push the uh, joystick once and then it activates so now you can control it. When you drive it with the cutters up, it's really front heavy. So you'll notice if you go forward and stop, it will want to tilt forward. <laughs> but as soon as you lower that, it's super stable. As he said, it has a really low center of gravity, so it can handle most terrain. Then the next thing is to lower the blade to the ground. And then you have the second furthest to the right. And you have to hold that until it gives you an audio response. If you don't, you can't start the cutter, so that's the safety feature. And that is dictated by these two blades that are adjustable. So you loosen the two bolts and that's how you set the height of how you want to cut it. And that's mostly depending on the... What do you call it? Substrate? Yeah, the substrate. So if it's really uneven, then... Uh, because these ride after the cutters, if if there's a bump, it will cut through the bump instead of going over it. So that's why it's important to check the environment first to yeah. see what you're yeah. dealing with. And that's really uh, something really important. I would like to add a comment uh, that has to do with the environment. So, so it's a good idea to to not make this a trap for uh, for for animals. Mm -hmm. It's good to walk. You're actually usually we don't walk in the meadow before we cut it. Mm -hmm. That it's forbidden. Mm -hmm. It makes the work so much harder. But it's a good idea to walk through the area before you you go with the machine. So you scare the animals away. And then also to not go in a circle round and round because then you trap the the animals and the, you and then they have nowhere to go in the middle so it's better to go from one side uh, and then you just uh, scare them away to the side so they have somewhere to escape so that's uh, some uh, some points to, to not make this into a trap for, for uh, animals in the field and while it might be tempting because it is remote control, you should always walk side by side with the machine so you can't see anything that's in front. Um, so yes, now that we've lowered it all the way and gotten the audio response, we have the rightmost switch which activates the blades. And you have to activate that in combination with the signal switch, so the two outermost switches.
Okay, so now uh, everything's turned on, the key's turned on, and the switches are on. So now to establish a signal, you flip that switch and hold it upwards. Yeah, so now it has control. Now to start driving it, you need to tap the joystick once upwards. So now you can drive it, and this is left, right, front, back, so you can just try moving it a bit. If you would cut the line yeah. more close to the new metal, that would be nice. Oops, yeah, that's what the front heavy I was talking about is. <laughs>